Kentucky using only your sniffer. <laughs> no getting distracted by green food. I have hide it. Mm. Come and find me. Now remember, Spike, listen to the sniffer. <laughs> Spike. At least Mr. Threehorn isn't green food. Huh. I'm not any kind of food. Uh, right. And I'd never eat you even if you were. Oh, kids. Don't worry, Spike. You just have to keep trying. I am still hiding. Yes, yes, yes. I know you can do it, Spike. Come and find me, Spike. <laughs> Remember, Spike, listen only to the sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> you find me, Spike. Yup, yup, yup. Way to go, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> Littlefoot? I believe he's gathering tree stars with Grandpa. This will be Chomper's very first time of great giving. Oh, how wonderful! Yeah, so what's it all about? Well, many bright circles ago, everyone in the Great Valley learned an important lesson about caring for one another. And now we celebrate being able to share with each other and not having to worry about sharp teeth. Yeah, I guess sharp teeth can be a problem sometimes. Yes, they're horrible, vicious creatures. Uh, I'm gonna go find a little foot. Uh, oh, but I, I didn't mean him. Chomper? Oh my. <laughs> Up here, Chomper. We're finding the very best tree stars for the time of Great Giving Feast. Wanna help? Nah, us sharp teeth can't tell the good tree stars from the bad ones. <laughs> when I was a hatchling, sharp teeth kept us from eating the tree stars. 
We had to eat swamp sticks. Ew. <sighs> Finally. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> hey, Chomper, come on. You don't want to miss the feast, do you? I guess not. Nothing but green food. Chopper, sit with me. <gasps> Come along, children. It's not safe to play with sharp teeth. Maybe I should go back to the mysterious beyond, Ducky. Nobody wants me here. Oh, no, no, no! The mysterious beyond is not safe, Chomper. It is full of bad sharp teeth, like Red Claw. Yeah, I know, but I'm a sharp tooth. Yes, but you are a nice sharp tooth. And you are our friend. You even teach us things you know. Like today, you teach Spike how to use his sniffer to find me. Yeah, I guess. You are a very good teacher, Chomper. You are, you are. Say, if I can teach Spike how to use a sniffer, maybe I can teach Sharp Teeth how to be nice. Oh, I do not think... Thanks for the great idea, Ducky. You're really smart! I am? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Spike. <laughs> Once I teach Sharp Teeth how to be friends, the mysterious beyond will be as nice as the Great Valley. Chomper, I've looked everywhere I can see, and I can't see him anywhere. He left the great giving early. He said something about teaching Sharp Teeth how to be friends. Sharp Teeth? Friends? Me no like sound of that. Me neither. We better find him fast. How are we going to do that? We can sniff for him. Spike finded me with his sniffer, so he can find Chomper too. <laughs> I don't think Spike's able to sniff out anything he can't eat. Oh, but he can! Chomper taught him how! You can sniff him, Spike, I know. Your sniffer knows the way to go. Do it like you did before. And we will find him for sure. Go sniff him out. Chomper stood today. Okay, Spike, now sniff away. Look at that! He's got the scent. Show us where he went. Go sniff him out. You can sniff him out. Do not have a doubt. There can be no doubt. You can sniff Chomper out. Sniff and sniff him out. You can show us how. I thought I would have seen some sharp teeth by now. Oh well, I'll find some sharp teeth to teach tomorrow. <sighs> After a good night's sleep. Maybe we can be 
friends. Hmm. Uh, right. Uh, you speak sharp tooth. Uh. <laughs> Chomper went, Spike? Mm. Okay. Let's go. Teach Red Claw to be friendly. Breakfast? No, look! Spike find it footprints! <laughs> Chopper! Hey, somebody my own age! This should be better! Hi there! Want to be friends? If we're friends, we can play catch. I'll throw and you catch. Oops, that's okay. You're just learning. 